Man, YouTube actually cooperated today. That was like a minute and a half uh, intro screen. It usually doesn't last that long. It takes forever to actually publish, but uh, actually worked decently today. And it looks like we might be a little bit early because I kind of want to pay attention to Black Buck and Axis Deer uh, off of Parkgate today. And then we're going to go to Verhunga for Spring Buck, Warthog, Kudu, all that stuff. So it should be fun. But we'll probably crawl over towards this blind. The wind's bad. And we'll see what's going on. How's everybody's, uh, how's everybody's Monday going? Hope you guys are having a good day. You're my favorite Call of the Wild YouTuber. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Schuster gang in the house. What's going on, bottom boy? How's your day going? We are... There he is. Let's see if we can get the right weapon. I did bring the Mosin today. It's just... It's the best. I love shooting, like, Springbuck, Blackbuck, Axis Deer with the Mosin. It's just... It's too good. The sound of the gun, they almost always drop. It's the best. What map are we on right now? We're on Parquet Fernando. We're going to hop to Verhunga, hopefully about halfway in. It's currently 9.14 in game. Um, Black Buck will stop drinking at 12, which is about 45 minutes from now. And then we may run around and like just spend 15 minutes looking for like water buffalo or something random, and then do Verhunga for the second half, because I think we'll do like feed zones, uh, you know, early morning stuff. And we may do either spring buck drink time, or I'm even thinking of doing warthog drink time, and go into the areas that I don't go, like east coast and stuff. It should be fun. I'm hoping we can actually get something good today and just sort of ease back into the the diamond search. I'm definitely con continuing like the missions and stuff. I've really enjoyed that. I've been having a lot of fun, uh, despite the fact that I could not figure out how to fix that mission yesterday. Uh, but it's been good. But I want to get back to some diamond stuff as well. Uh, outdoors with Salty. Thanks for the super chat, man. Appreciate you. Pretty sure I heard this guy warning calling, like, for ten minutes before the stream. Glad he's quite the small male. How long have I been playing Call of the Wild? I just actually looked before the stream. I have 3,460 hours. Uh, and I've been playing since the very beginning. I got the game when it came out. You gonna stay broadside? Rod's done enough. That'll work. Uh, Trenton, thanks for the super chat. You gonna make any more mission videos? Absolutely. Uh, I want to definitely finish Hirschfelden's missions. I think we're several videos away from completing all those. I'd like to kind of do them all. I don't know like how annoying some of them may be, but I think we're gonna try to do that. And outdoors with Salty. Thank you again, man. Really appreciate it. Finally got my 7 mil in real life. Can't wait to have some muleys. That should be good, dude. Hopefully you can get that gun started off right with the big mail. Uh, I'm probably not all the above. I may. Uh, we'll have to see what's going on. But currently, that is actually not the plan. Just smoke everything. In school right now? Yeah, I, I understand the disdain for it, but it's kind of a necessary thing. The most accurate gun? I think technically it would be the 223. Generally, um, if we were to look at our inventory here, the smaller calibers have a higher accuracy. So 7mm is only 33, Mosin 64, 243 is 78, 22 is 100, but it's so slow firing, and I believe the wind might actually even affect it. I'm not sure on that one. I wouldn't put it in the same class as the 223. If nothing else, like, for any sort of moving shots, you're going to be more accurate with the 223 because you don't have to deal with the slower uh, bullet. Um, Trenton, thank you again, man. I think your mission was bugged because of the geese pressure. It could be. A lot of people were saying I needed to stack hunting pressure, and that could very well have been the thing because... I don't know why that just got laggy. Um, in the live stream where we completed the mission that was similar to that... We shot like four or five uh, fallow females in the same place, so that would in fact make sense. You have several diamonds on your map? Go get them, man. Get them big males and put them in your lodge. Um, outdoors with Salty, thanks again. Sorry I can't send more. Don't worry about it, dude. 
couldn't ask for anything more than to have you here watching the stream, so I really appreciate you, man. How's the hunting trip looking? Uh, still up in the air. I definitely don't intend on missing it. Um, gonna find a way to make something happen. But just trying to coordinate everything with just current circumstances, it's slightly more difficult than expected. I wonder if we'll get to see... Oh, everybody's right there. Uh, mythical, okay. Wouldn't mind getting a shot at him as we go around here. I still don't have a diamond puma on the new scoring system, which is absurd. I have probably 30 or 40 diamond pumas from all the old scoring system. I would get tons of them, but just haven't had one in a long time. They've all been trolls, so that could be good for response. Um, Caught Baton, thanks for the super chat. How do I shoot a diamond whitetail? I've got a lot of whitetail uh, content out there. Bunch of different whitetail guides, how I was grinding for the great one and stuff. And those can work just fine for uh, methods for just hunting diamonds because it's the same idea, just looking for an even more rare spawn. So diamonds would be a little bit more common than, you know, what I was going after in, in those videos. Hi. Are you decent? Not really. That'll work. And Mr. Puma. Got him as well. Good deal. This tripod's actually been quite useful. Third diamond fellow with the muzzle or 265. Nice, dude. Don't think I've shot a diamond fellow in... Goodness. When did I shoot that? It was the same day as the melanistic, the same hunt. That would have been April, May. It's been a long time since I've had a good-sized fallow deer. No way there's only 23 people watching. Yeah, it says 409 for me, and mine breaks halfway through, like, every stream. Are we going to have trolls forever? Yeah, I don't think... Um, I don't think that's something that's going away. There's always been animals, like, such as turkeys, that... There's actually no troll turkeys, as far as I'm aware. Every level 3 turkey does make diamond. At least, I've not seen a single troll one. Usually, animals where a lower level one so consistently makes diamond, they don't miss it on the higher level. Level 5 wildebeest can't miss diamond. But, you know, we may see true racks and stuff that change that for them eventually. I think there's always going to be trolls. And I don't think <laughs> that's necessarily a bad thing. We'll get around to the end of the lake here and then maybe switch it up. Uh, Aiden, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Do you have any recommendations to get more diamonds? I mean, my best advice for everybody is to hunt around water just as we're pretty much doing right now. Did I claim that black buck? Uh, I guess so. Anyway, yeah, uh, hunt around water. Try different times, different zones. Just try to uh, cover ground in general, because you'll see a lot of animals. And it's just, like, the whole thing. Animals spend a lot of time near water. It tends to be more open near water, so you're more capable of seeing animals in that area anyway. And like I said, try different times, because animals are going to be moving around throughout the day. But that's the best advice I can give you. And uh, who else was in there? Harris with the Super Chat. Thank you, man tips on getting a diamond turkey um honestly they feed Ooh, don't think i had that zone before they feed pretty much throughout the entire day and my best advice for turkey would be again just like try to cover ground and just shoot a bunch of them they're pretty common like you see a lot of diamond turkeys posted if you shoot some you're gonna start seeing respawns and you're gonna start getting some big ones on your map just going to take a little bit of time. Um, I don't know if that alert is going to go off. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But Riley, thanks for becoming a channel member, man. Really appreciate you joining. Uh, make sure you link up your YouTube to the Discord. And make sure you join the Discord if you've not yet done so. And uh, yeah, enjoy the green name and the emojis in chat. I like the fact that you can use those emojis in the comments as well. It's actually pretty cool, so enjoy that. Shot a diamond turkey first day in Silver Ridge. I think I got one like the third day. A lot of people got them early on. 
There were a lot of them. Currently working on my 100 of safety, and at this point I'm ready to give up. Nah, it's worth it, man. I get it, though. They put you through a lot of stuff, but it's... It's meant to be that way. They're trying to... I guess get information into your head via repetition. It's worth it. Uh, what weapon do you recommend for someone who doesn't have the 22? I mean, I guess like the 12 gauge because at least you have some chance. If you even hit them, they'll probably die. I actually haven't tested that. Um, I'll have to do that. I'll give it a real shot just to see, like, if I can hit a duck at, you know, 100 meters or whatever flying away, there's no quick kill anymore. It used to actually matter. Like, you couldn't just blast them with the 12-gauge at range. They would actually lose quick kill. Look at that big male. Just gorgeous. Um, but yeah, now I think as long as they go down, it should be fine. You never get a second to catch your breath. I don't even know how you do it. Uh... I catch my breath in between just for the moments that I read, basically. That one actually wasn't bad. Little gold. I really want to get a gold Melanista because we did get a gold Ducistic one, which is pretty neat, so getting some of these smaller males that may not be trophies would be good for respawns. I love this gun. <laughs> I need to do this more. Uh, at the start of the game, I didn't know how to zoom in with my weapons. Dude, there was so much I didn't understand when I started this game. I feel that. Like, coming from Classic, animals didn't seem to be coming into calls, but a lot of times it was just like the fact that they'd sort of trot around, whereas in Classic, they just walk on a straight line. There was so much I didn't understand, but when you learn stuff, as I'm sure, you know, you're aware now, it just becomes a lot more fun. There's a level of, like, mystery a game has to ha like has to have to continue to be fun but you also need to learn some of the ins and outs and i think somewhere in that area of like learning the basic stuff is really the best time for this game hey matthew what's going on kyla uh what's your favorite animal to hunt on the whole game i think whitetail because i hunt them in real life but I don't know, their antlers need fixed. I really hope, you know, someday down the road, they can kind of like revisit some of those beginning ones. The elk need it, white tail, really black tail could use a little love. Reindeer and caribou, they look good, but they actually could do so much more. There should be like huge wide racks and like taller uh. narrow racks, almost like the old diamond reindeer rack, the, uh, the legacies. There's so much they could do. Uh, I don't know which one of those came up first, but all of the above, thank you so much. Present for tomorrow, dude. It's too generous, man. Really appreciate you. And, uh, Brayden as well. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> When's the bow opener? It is October 3rd, I believe. Getting there. I just got my bow, um... Saturday? Shot it Saturday. Got it, like, kind of sighted in a little bit. Got it a little closer Sunday telling you what obsession's not a bad brand i i had my second group at 50 my first group was um it was kind of me trying to figure out where i needed to aim because i'm using a single pin sight and the sight tape is not correct for the fps i'm using so i gotta do corrections there but anyway my second group when i got the pin a little bit closer was like a two inch group at 50 yards i was like honestly really impressed i did not expect that so i'm excited I'm very excited. Rare antler types? Like non typicals? I think I might see where you're going with that. It sounds cool. Can you stand up, Mr. Sir? Please? Notice me. I'm kind of surprised I can run this far in this water. Come on. Blind to this. Alright. Won't even request that of you. What's going on? Can't hit nothing. 
I uh, got my bow three days ago. I'm working on dialing it in now. Yeah, so uh, I've been shooting, I think, about 62 pounds. Don't mind me as I take a bath here. Uh, I think about 62 pounds for probably three or four years. I used to shoot, like, 75. And the obsession with that 90% let off, like, whatever it is about it. This is abysmal. What am I doing? <laughs> Just fast travel over here. Anyway, whatever it is about it, the initial, like, probably foot of the draw is really tough and then there's nothing and I'm trying to like get my shoulders sort of built up to that because I can't do a ton of shots without starting to hurt and I need to not do that because I don't have time to have rest days right now so it's fun to to be setting in a bow and you know getting all that stuff figured out again though nuke them spams I like it Um, just about 50 plus acres of woods on a lake in, uh, is that Montana? I think so. Or is, no, MT would be. Missouri. Wait, what's MO? Goodness me. Help. <laughs> well, either way, that's like exactly what I want to do. I want to get, I'm hoping to do it in Iowa. Like some, some land I can, um, sort of manage for whitetail. Something in that area, like 50, 60 acres. Not a huge plot, but just something I can really work with. That's my, like, long-term life goal right now. How close can you get to the animals while running before they spook? Generally about 150 meters. That's the kind of rule of thumb. Generally, like, when people ask, I say you can run until you're about 150 meters from animals, walk till you're about 120 and then crawl or uh, sorry crouch till 80 and then crawl from there hey G it's illegal to bow hunt in Sweden that is the case in a lot of places actually I sort of understand it but I think they're probably not that's probably done out of ignorance in a lot of ways just got a melanistic diamond mountain lion. Why is there an oof in there? What's the oof? Hey, Hunter Man. How you doing, dude? Are you going to do a live stream of the Yukon missions? We may do the remainder of the story missions on a stream, yeah. I'm thinking about that. The story missions usually aren't super annoying. And I did... I think just, I didn't record them or anything, or maybe, uh, it might have been in part of a video. Uh, I did like just enough to unlock that wolf outpost, so I'm not sure how many are left. But yeah, we'll kind of see. It might be on a stream, it might be for a video. One of the two. Good one, G. I like it. Any diamonds in the stream? None yet. Kind of just really getting going, to be honest. I want to make sure we get to, um, which lakes was I thinking of? Definitely this one. Down here again, I think. Here and here. Lots of places still to go. Um, yes, bottom boy. Is not all the commands, it's specifically Discord, because I mentioned that one a lot. Maybe I should make it all the commands. Uh, we'll have to see how things go. Doing things and I don't know... What did that say? Don't know what to do with my hands. Uh, let them rest. Big mail. Should I uninstall GTA so I can download this game? I feel that. <laughs> Anytime I want to get any other game, like, alright... Gotta get rid of GTA. It takes up my entire SSD. Um, I don't know. It's a good game, man. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, I think you'll like it. Apparently not. Is uh, is just that one, like I said. There could be a big problem with people poaching with a bow in Sweden. That's why crossbows are prohibited in Washington. Guess that's the side of things I didn't really consider. 
I don't see any more black buck up this way, by the way, so I think we're going to hop to one of the other lakes. Let's do this one, because this is the one I'm worried I'll forget. Uh, what did I miss there? Oh, goodness. Don't mind me hitting my headset on my mic. Green Ashby with the super chat. And Hunter White. Thank you, guys. Um, that was the creatures we're after, so let's go slow here. What's the map you recommend for red deer? I think Quattro is probably the best for red deer. Though, I've had actually most of my luck on Parque Fernando. I just think Quattro actually, you find more of them. It's probably more likely you're going to get a trophy one first there. I just happen to have been lucky on this map. So that does not appear to be an entire herd of them. It's a decent four. Should be one like up in there. Let's let's go around this side. We'll probably when we get farther this way, wherever he was. Try to get that guy when we get a little closer. And hopefully that doesn't spook anything that's down on this side. Delay is real. Yeah, that'll happen. I didn't switch it to real time either. I feel like that's going to cause a considerable amount of people to buffer. All your ice cream is gone. Whatever are you going to do? Um, where did it go? I see ya. Hopefully nothing spooked. Just got an albino mule deer level 3. Nice. I still haven't shot any interesting... Uh, well, I guess I had a tiny melanistic. I haven't really had any interesting, um, rare true rack mule deer. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. He did not hear that. That'll work. They're sort of aware, but I don't see anything that's good there. I mostly want to just get around this side then and see what called when we came in. At least work is slow for the speed of the chat. That makes life a little easier, I suppose. Uh, tips for starting out. I have a beginner guide, but there's some things that are out of date with the game. I really need to just go and make another one. But, um, the biggest thing I would say, really, is to just hunt near water. Uh, look for, you know, areas where you can see far, like, like we're doing now. The biggest thing about water is that animals tend to spend most of their time near there. But the other side of it is, it tends to be rather open, so you have a lot of capabilities of spooking, or, uh, spotting things before you spook them, rather. One way or the other, whatever I meant to say. Um... So yeah, little black bucks that are 300 yards away, no big deal. Um, there's something, a little axis deer. I mean, I guess. Ooh, he started trotting. That's not going to be a good hit. He's dying, it'll get him, but that was less than ideal. This game would be cool in VR. I remember talking about that actually in a video probably close to three years ago. There would be a lot of things that they have to do to really get it to like just work well in VR. But I think it could be actually really, really cool. Beginner tip, shoot everything. Yeah, don't worry about trophies. Just uh, get your cash, your XP, all that stuff. Do that first. You have such a relaxing voice. Well, thank you. Little female. What's the gold requirement for Rocky Mountain Elk? I think 380, 340. Diamond is 481. I forget exactly where gold is. It's somewhere in 300s. 
That's the only thing I can guarantee with that. Is there anybody else over the end here? Not so much, okay. I think we're saving time doing this. What do you hope is the next great one? Just any antler species, really. Any of the elk. Um, Blacktail, I'm less interested in, but that would be okay. Turn to the last second. Unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, then... What else is there? Moose could be cool. Mule deer, definitely. Uh, Axis deer, kind of lame at the moment, but they are getting true racks, so maybe. Equals best voice. Oh, thanks. What is the best map? That really is down to personal preference, I think. For me, like, I like generally, like, big game and specifically antler species because there's more, like, variety and that sort of thing. So I tend to really like Leighton Lakes, but I also really enjoy Verhunga Savanna, mostly because it's animals that are very, like, exotic to my what I consider normal, I guess. And I guess there's another side to it. It's a map that's pretty open and relatively easy to hunt, and that is nice. Like, it's nice to just have a map that you're not crawling through brush all the time. You can just see what you're going for and have fun. Hey, Scarecrow. Perka? Yeah, dude. Nothing, nothing special so far. By the way, I did not do the thing you said. I didn't set it to ultra low latency or whatever it's called because I was a little worried about buffering. That's unfortunate. He started to trot as we did that. Someone barked at us, but uh, what else did I say? I want to go here. There should be a pretty good sized black buck, actually. Just a four. Um, that we shot in a video, but then we had to glitch where we couldn't claim it. Like, somewhere in this area. Um, what were you? I saw a thing. Maybe is with that? It depends. In the video where that happened, it was too close to the tent, and we had to actually, uh, like, run over here to even be able to see it. So, I don't know. What is Truex? Uh, Truex actually is sort of an acronym. I think that's the right word. It stands for True Random Antler Configuration System. And basically, that's a fancy way of saying that there are unique antlers, pretty much every animal. Now, there's going to be basic uh, shapes and stuff, obviously, but all the different tines have different lengths and bends and measurements and, like, all this different stuff that technically at least makes them unique. They say, like, with whitetail and blacktail, there's over a million different combinations, now, a lot of those are very similar looking, but there are those slight differences that um, make them, I guess, unique. That's probably... No, that's the one there. No, that's a three. All right, then. I guess it's that one. believe we got both of those. A few people do get buffering. Yeah, so I'm wondering... I may give it a shot. Um... Just didn't do it today because I didn't think of it to the last second and just didn't go for it. Just got a gold piebald pronghorn. Which uh, piebald? The one with like the shoulder spots or the other one? Next time I will post next video. Uh, should be tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. That is the plan. How do you have the patience for this? The patience for the game, or what? Gold for elk, 351.5. I appreciate you going and looking that up, man. Or if you already knew it. Ooh. I wasn't aware that was a thing. 
level fours can be silver. Definitely gonna mean that a melanistic gold is gonna be a difficult task. Hey, McLovin. I don't know why I read that as I hate and not I hear. I'm glad you know hate. Okay, there's also ones over there. And a mule deer. It's just going to be a function of the fact that we're in a not so good spot. There's a good four anyway. And a three. Let's just see what happens if we start flinging some shots out there. They might all spook, they might be spread out enough. He's hit good. Uh, that one's gonna spook. That stuff kind of knows something's up. I thought that was a melanistic female for a second. Well, if they want to get away, we'll just we'll just go prone, I guess. We'll just be happy with that and head over there and claim our one. It's because I just shot one. Well, all right, that works too. Still appreciate the information. Uh, with, with, will they? What? Hold on. Let me just read the entire thing and then try to read that out loud. Now nah, I still don't understand. Something about moose getting fixed. I know they're still not quite right, but I'm hoping they're going to maybe take a look at that in the next update. Diamond Mountain Goat and Bison. Speaking of Diamond Mountain Goat, I haven't touched Silver Ridge Peaks in a little while. Last hunt might have been the one where I shot the light brown level 4 that was 0.1 off. That gave me such incredible levels of sad. Huh. Never really noticed that. I don't go around this side usually. Got a level 9 coyote. It was a troll. Those, those hurt me because you don't see a lot of them. I had a troll level 9 fox recently. It's just just always wanted them to make it, but I feel you. It's still cool to see. You don't like, like you said, it's still very cool. You don't see them. Ooh. Nice. Uh, 268 red deer? That's huge, man. That's really huge. Made it to my third stream. Glad you can make it, dude. Doing good, man. Hope you are as well. Level four Rockies had me thinking I'm looking at a five a lot. I've kind of got them mostly figured out. Every now and then, I'll see one that just looks like the fives but aren't quite there. The ones that tend to get me um, are the red deer still. If I don't have my binoculars on them, like if I catch them running through brush, I'll see a seven and be sure a diamond just ran by and then I'll spot it and think that I'm out here wasting my time. I forgot this spot does that. So you guys can't hear any of my steps and all that stuff anymore. I don't know why. Like, this tent hasn't moved in probably a year. But I just... Something changed and I get no footsteps till we fast travel. But, um... Are there any black buck at this lake? Usually somewhere up around that end, at least. I don't know. Somebody killed a mouse and put it in your boss's office? What? That sounds really good. Hope everything is going well with that. I guess that guy's actually higher scoring. Let's get him. Let him lift his head, hopefully. Kind of like the little forks for, like, a mule deer buck that size. What? Oh, this is the Mosin for one. Not the weapon I wanted. That probably will not get him, actually. He's dying. I'd be very impressed, actually. Because the Mosin only has soft point bullets, which means you don't get a lot of penetration. You mostly want broadside shots for a gun like that. If that got a lung, which I think it did, I'll be quite impressed. 
Got a max weight male and female kudu in the same herd. Max weight female kudu is a weird thing. There's not a lot of, um, like, shall we say, four-footed creatures that females can be max weight as well. I mean, rabbits. They're small game. What else can females even reach the max estimate on? Uh, got a level 6 female fox. What level do they get to? I believe Mythical is the highest ever posted. There's theories that they could reach level 9, which I do have to wonder. If they can reach Mythical, maybe there's some unbelievably rare spawn where they can make diamond. That weirdo Rockier and Mjolnir are still broken. As far as I know, they are. Something seems off. There's been three level 5 diamond Mjolnir posted that I've seen since, um, goodness. August 11th, basically, right? The rest of the diamond ones that I've seen have been level 6, and you would think the amount that people hunt Silver Ridge Peaks, like, you go to multiplayer, tons of Silver Ridge Peaks servers, there would just be more level 5 diamonds getting killed. I don't think they're respawning properly is the issue. 997 diamond black bear? That's huge, dude. If we get new guns, what do you want? I don't really have any major preferences right now. Uh, muzzleloader was something I wanted for a very long time. I also wanted a 22 pistol, which didn't add as much to the game as I had hoped. It just wasn't... You didn't gain enough. I think the having the 22 long rifle is just... The advantage, despite the fact that it weighs more, is too much to pass up. Um, I don't know. Another crossbow would be cool. I've been thinking about taking the crossbows out for more hunts lately. I just don't know what to go after. There's nothing that I really, like, really want to do that with. Because there's animals I could, like, I could go to Leighton and have a decent time doing a crossbow hunt. <laughs> but a lot of times I just get, like, I don't feel like sitting here and calling these animals in. I have limited drink time. Like, I don't know. That kind of thing gets into my head. So, uh... That looks kind of decent, or is that that three? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think a, like a different type of crossbow might be neat. There's a four max weight, anyway. Don't even see a lot of those these days, so... Kind of kind of happy to see that. We'll smoke him. I don't think 206 is right. I bet he's 240s. Wrong gun. Glad he had his head down. Now, as for the other one, I know he ran this way. I'm sort of hoping we just stumble upon him. There he is. <laughs> that works pretty good. Um, I think I missed two super chats. Sappy Gaming, thank you for the first one there. I'm on a road trip and so bored. Glad you're streaming. Hope you're uh, getting some entertainment out of it then. I do like that little rack. It's a nice young mule And that guy's 204. The one we just shot was way above 206 then. And, uh, Cannon Cronledge, am I saying that close to right? I hope so. Shot two level 5 Mule Deer, both were trolls. Yeah, so that initial spawn, there were a bunch of, like, level 5 Mule Deer that just weren't even close to Diamond. It was just a weird thing. They never had anything like that. Like, animals going over the max level. It was very odd. You want a Mellow Kitty as well? I got one on my... Uh, Diamond Roosevelt multi-mount. It's pretty cool. 275. Not bad. Two different antlers makes them look pretty goofy. But... Pretty big. I think for one, I'm getting tired of not hearing footsteps. That drives me insane. So we're gonna head down here. 250s to 260s. Even bigger male. How about that? Ever played Farming Sim? Yeah. Um... I think I have two streams of it here on YouTube. The rest of the content I made on it was on Twitch, and those VODs, actually they weren't even saved at the time because the music that I was using would have just gotten the entire VOD muted. But, oh, that's a bigger one. Ah, I got out of there in time. See, that was not even a max weight for her. It's interesting. Things have changed with them a lot. Anyway, yeah. Um, I played it a lot. I like it. I'm looking forward to the next farming sim. I'm trying to figure out, though. Hi. 
Welcome to the club. Didn't Farming Sim 19 come out the end of 2018? Because I'm thinking then Farming Sim 21 would be out, like, end of this year. But I've heard nothing about it. So I don't really know. I don't see anything special there. That was a little bit close. Nope. Don't need that. No touch. Ah! I said no. <laughs> okay. Let's not have that again. I think if it had even antlers, the score is 269, but the one on the right helped it score. Do you have the, like, the scoring completely worked out for the weird estimates? I wasn't even aware you could do that if that's what you just did. Um, Sappy Gaming, thanks again, man. Is it possible to become a mod? It would make my day. Uh, so I choose the moderators based on basically uh, people that I've seen consistently active in the chat for. I don't really have like a set amount of time, but like a long time. And just like, you know, people that are generally showing that they're capable of doing it. People that, like, kind of try to help out even not being a mod. That's the kind of stuff I look for. Hey, Flipsen, what's going on, dude? Uh, the key for moving optics of the rifle instantly. On PC, it is middle mouse click. On console, it's a couple of buttons. You have to hit up on the D-pad twice and then... A on Xbox, X on PS4. FS21 is not going to happen, just constant updates to 19. Is that because of, like, uh, pandemic type of scenarios, or what's the deal with that? Believe. Oh no, he avoided that. I thought he turned right into it. He must have done, like, an extra turn then? Huh. Alright, well, it's only one buck. Let's just hop back. We may lose that one we shot, depending on if that bug is going to be a thing again or not. He would have been... No, he's still there. Have I ever played GTA 5? Yeah, I've got like 200 hours in it or something on PC. Played a little bit on console as well. I like it. Um, it's just getting rather old. Played a decent amount of Red Dead. They just they didn't do enough to online fast enough. And the problem is, like, GTA they've done too much. So I kind of get it, but it got dead. More of memorizing what each rack scores on average, like wide by four. Uh, yeah, that made sense. Wide four by four, like that one had on his left all the scores 268 to 270. I see, okay. Didn't realize it was that consistent. He dupes gonna nuke me. They can nuke me all they want. Become a big male on Twitch. Uh, Sappy Gaming, thanks again, man. How long are we gonna stream? I usually do about two hours, so another hour or 15 ish. I think. Um, we may try to... Ooh, you know what we'll do? Let's go to this lake first, because Black Buck do drink there. Or at least they can. And Water Buffalo also drink there, and it's their drink time, so... Not that lake. This one. I knew what I meant, I swear. Uh, most common troll you think is mountain lions? Yeah, mountain lions are up there, Puma. That's essentially the same thing, though. Cape Buffalo, I would say, are pretty high on the list. Not a lot of score variety for level 4 to 5 mules. That makes sense. Wish there was a little more, because I don't feel like the Whitetail are that predictable. Like, you can get my uh, 
the one I killed during the diamond guide, actually, he was pretty, like, heavy, almost 100 kilos, actually, and he only scored 278, I think. But he looked big. It was just, like, the way the beams curled and stuff. That is sort of something we're after. Would like to get a look at it anyway. Black bears troll a lot too. Yeah, I got a couple of troll black bears, all common still, but on, on Silver Ridge when I was really looking just to get a diamond black bear. Now I have three, I think. Was shooting my bow on TikTok live stream and got banned for seven days? Really? Can I continue the beginner series? I do want to continue it. I'm planning on actually trying to release those videos. I haven't recorded them yet. Um, but trying to do those videos, like, at least partially while I'm away for my pronghorn hunt. I just don't even know when that's happening. So, uh, gotta figure out what the deal is with that. A lot of times... There are black buck like down in this area. I see no such thing. In that case, we will, I guess with the seven mil, probably attempt a hard shot here. How far is that? 250. Oh, hi. I mean, that's kind of what I'm after. That's a bigger seven. What's that? Ooh. It's like, uh, four below diamond mythical? Is he gonna walk broadside like that one? That would be ideal. Getting more and more broadside? I don't know. See if that lands into something good. They have huge lungs. It should be very possible. Should be starting to drop, and he is not, so might not have gotten him. If we can keep an eye on him, I bet you he'll stop. Just a matter of where he decides to do such a thing. I think he just did. Is that him? Nope. One behind him might be. No. Where did he go then? Hmm. Hiding somewhere. See, if we run over there, we're going to get into a forever chasing mess. That's him. He's hanging his head. Still trotting away though. I mean, I'm not worried about it. Would have been nice to get him for a respawn. He's not even dying though, like even a little bit. Yeah, let's let's not worry about that. Um, I think we'll just hit this lake. That will pretty well. I meast. I might have meast. Uh, that will pretty well let us get to halfway into the stream and we'll hop on for hunger and see what's going on over in that area need armor penetrating bullets to kill buffalo i know that seven mils capable you can hard shot him so it gets good penetration through like the leg and stuff must have just been the distance and everything same justin Big ol' oof on that one. Would have tried a little harder if he was a little bit of a bigger male, but... Not super worried. In school watching you? Just, uh, don't get your phone taken away or anything. There's a good question. Uh, thoughts on the 6.5? I really like it. It's a little bit underpowered for a lot of the Class 4 animals. 
probably, I mean, I get why it's a class 4, but it probably should go down to class 3, maybe B3 to 7. But it's very flat shooting. It's great for long range. I do like it. Um, Carter, thanks for becoming a channel member, man. I don't know why those alerts tend to be broken. I don't know if that's going to come up or not, but thank you so much, dude. If you don't know, you can join the Discord and link up your uh, YouTube to get the YouTube member rule over there. And yeah, make sure you do that. I appreciate you, man. Enjoy your uh, emojis and green name in the chat. Run off. Anything interesting over here? I just like seeing an entire herd here again. Instead of like two. Those are all small males. Speaking of small males. I guess we'll try... That's a five. Even smaller. Guess that's the one. Wait till he lifts his head. Why did deer always run away from me? They don't want to get shot. Uh. They're out here trying to live their best life. You gonna tell me that didn't get lungs either? No, it did. Just very slowly bringing them down. Very slowly. That'll take a while. Uh, Gavin, thanks for the super chat, man. Really appreciate you. Struggles of being a mod. Yeah. Would it help if I made, like, a little uh, rules command, do you think? Because I can absolutely do that for next time. Might be nice. How do I link my YouTube? Um, on Discord, you go to, I believe it's user settings, connections, and then you basically log into YouTube through that and you're all set. Do you ever waterfowl hunt in real life? Um, I never have, actually. I think I'd like to. I've just never really had the opportunity to do it. I do think it'd be fun. Holy Caleb's back. Probably for 12 more seconds. I didn't even get to laugh at your calling me bad and going back to class or whatever you did. You were gone before I started. Oh, thanks, Jay. I needed that permission. I wasn't I wasn't sure. I, I've been out here, like, just pretending not to kill any diamonds for an hour. Don't even worry about it. Where's the... I think I picked up a track or spotted one. It's gotta be somewhere over here. I see the blood. Does YouTube have spam protection? I don't think... Um... There's no, like, auto mod or anything. You can set up things. Would have needed a little more broadside. I think we had that, though. 300 might have done it. Anyway, let's go to Verhunga. Now, it is lion drink time, but... I think I want to focus on Springbuck, Warthog, those kind of things. That's cool. They should just have the Hunter Mate camo background all the time. I like that. Uh, just fix that real quick. Maybe. There we go. Alright, let's just do 545 then. I believe our loadout is fine, though... It would be nice to... Nah, we're gonna run with this. We'll try to hard shot stuff. YouTube needs to step it up. They're trying to compete, you know, with uh, with Twitch and everything. They definitely should try to do more for stream streaming content. What are we doing here? Let's, for starters, just run this little piece here. That'll give stuff time to get into their zones and all that. Just got back from school. Anything I missed? Um, a bunch of black buck and 
axis deer, occasional red deer and water buffalo, just a bunch of stuff for respawns over on Parquet. We literally just hopped on to Verhunga. And these little creatures right here are the reason we have a weird loadout today. I wanted the 243 because we've shot a bunch of mythical jackal, and I don't know, like, I guess I have some room for, uh, for some other ones in the lodge. I'd like to get another diamond, and I still think someday, like, they have to have more multi-mounts in the works, I would think. I remember being told months ago at this point that during one of their streams they had talked about potentially, um like, doing more multi-mounts or something like that. Maybe somebody told me that to get my hopes up, I don't know. But, like, how Jackal and Scrub Hair is not a multi-mount, I have no idea. Like, when Red Fox and Rabbit is, they're not on the same map. Surely they could do Jackal and Rabbit when they are on the same map. So I'm hoping for that. Um, I'd like to get another Jackal, Diamond Jackal, for such a thing. We do have the little albino we could use. Hello? Which way are we going? Now, we changed the time, so I bet we're not going to find this, but we'll give it a look because it is something I'd like to go after. Uh, Carter, I am basically 23. 23 tomorrow. You are the best. Well, thank you. You're the best for saying that. We might find this. Um, This little spot right here is a zone just now run. I think we'll find it. They run like a little snail, so shouldn't be a big deal. Spammers for days. Gotta chill with the spam. I can't keep up and read it anyway. Taco time? Could go for a taco. Okay. Should be right down here. No? Is it that far ahead of us? There you are. Decent four. It's got the right tusks, actually. If that was the diamond. <laughs> Man! Can't even hit him. Should have kept the scope on. Goodness. Hope that wasn't a diamond. Technically, there's the slightest chance. Uh, they can make it at level four, very rarely. That is almost undoubtedly going to have him dead before we have any chance to see him again. Seven mils a little bit beefy on these guys. Are you going to change from YouTube to Twitch? Nah, I do both. Um, there's several reasons for that. One is, like, Twitch tends to be a more... Inviting is going to be a weird word, but a more inviting streaming uh. environment. That was actually a good size for. Close. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to, like, have another place to host content, essentially. You know, should something ever happen to one site or the other, it's good to have, like, a base somewhere else. So, yeah, I do both. I'm never going to abandon one or the other unless something were to happen that requires such a thing. The, I, I've i never, like, run back to the lodge from here, and I couldn't even figure out where I was. That was weird. Uh, let's get back on the side of things that we need to be on. Get spun around here. Uh, Brooke, thanks for the super chat. Happy 23rd birthday tomorrow. Thank you. A little, uh, a little early, but thank you. Hey, Paul. The hunt's actually going pretty decent, other than the fact that we're slightly oofing shots on pretty good sized level 4 warthogs. We're getting stuff, we're getting respawns. I want to, here on Verhunga, I think it's like down through here. I want to check like those areas for warthog like early in the morning and see what else is there. Like there's got to be level 3 scrub hairs on this map somewhere that I just don't see. want to get in those areas I miss. see a lot of people with the happy early birthday messages. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. Try to get them all in one swoop because I'm never going to keep up with everybody. What is this map? This is Rohunga Savannah. The only 
uh, map based in Africa. And a really good one. It's a great map. In advance, I like that, Nick. <laughs> That's not a, a term I usually hear, but I like it. Is this pre-recorded? It most certainly is not. Look at TK rolling in there with the MH command. Now you see, you might be wondering, why would TK be using such a command out of nowhere? Well, I have the answer right after I read the super chat. Uh, Georgios, thanks for the uh, early happy birthday wishes, man. Really appreciate it, dude. Anyway, uh, yeah, TK is coming in here with a command. If you want to check out that YouTube channel, youtube.com slash meat hunters, that is where my real life hunting content goes first. And TK and I actually like share that channel, his contents there. It's all, all fun stuff. But on Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern, so basically uh, two hours earlier than right now, we are going to be doing a podcast basically going over like kind of equipment stuff. We're going to do a little bow reveal for my bow because we've not yet done that. And we're just going to kind of <laughs> talk hunting. I, I assume like at some point it's going to go from looking at different equipment and all that to just talking hunting because that's what happens. And I think it's going to be a good time. So go, uh, go check that channel out. Make sure you subscribe to it. Like I said, my real life hunting content goes there first anyway on that channel. TK stuff's going to be there. And I think we're going to try to do those podcasts with some level of consistency. Uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens as soon as the season starts. But yeah, um, go check it out. Should be, should be good times. I think I missed uh, Crystal with the super chat. Thank you. Happy early birthday. Uh, once again, thank you. And what software are you using for streaming? I use Streamlabs OBS. I really like it. It's got its um, its faults, as any software will, but it's really good. It, it's great for, like, just consistently good quality stuff. Like, I, I have very few issues. The only real problem with it is, on YouTube, it takes forever to broadcast or publish the broadcast, I think. That's what it says, anyway. On Twitch, it's immediate. TK's looking forward to it. We're gonna have a good time. You guys... <laughs> You guys voted on this bow back in February, and then, you know, everything that's gone on this year, I just finally got it on Friday. It's shooting good. Nobody has really seen it yet. It's a nice kudu, actually. It's going to be fun to kind of do a little reveal and, you know, like I said, talk hunting mostly. Talk hunting and, you know, smoke big males. That's what we do. Uh, Austin, thanks for the super chat. Do you dove hunt? I actually have, but I haven't in five years, probably. I like it. I should do it again. And, uh, thanks for the early happy birthday wishes, man. Appreciate it. Meat Hunters has some killer merch. There's some pretty neato stuff you could check out, yeah. I like it. Is this all gonna be live? Yes. The podcast, like I said, will be live at 2 p.m. Eastern, essentially uh, two hours earlier than right now, on Thursday. What's the other channel called? It's just Meat Hunters. Um, if you, if somebody, yeah, TK's got it there. I think it's going to be a fun year. Um, you know, despite everything that has happened, should be fun to get out there again. I've been really looking forward to it. You know, every trail camera picture that contains any pixels that have antlers, <laughs> any of that stuff, just slowly getting me more and more excited for the season starting. Bokeh already has three stickers on it. Nice. Relatively big male. Okay. Doing mission objectives while we're at it. Good deal. Opinion on the 6.5? I like it, dude. It's a good weapon, maybe a bit underpowered uh, for the classes that it's ethical for. Very capable. You're just going to be tracking a little bit longer than, you know, something you shoot with, say, the 30-06. Mission finally worked? Yeah. Tell me about it. That one was like, I was I was trying to just like not get annoyed, just doing missions, having fun. I'm like, 
how am I shooting 15 animals? But yeah, I thought for some reason it didn't hit me that stacking hunting pressure was the answer. I was thinking of the opposite, like I had to not stack it. Don't worry. My brain works at 12% uh, capacity. Looks like that three is our best option here. Nice. I love your videos. I watch them every day. Well, thank you, man. That means more than you may think. Like, those of you that are back every single day for, like, all the videos and stuff. That support is, like, really amazing. And I can tell you from any content creator, that means a lot. Do I like Call the Wild or Classic more? I've really enjoyed them both, man. This is a difficult question to answer because they're they're not the same game and they're not like, you know, Call of the Wild's not an improved version of Classic. They're different games completely. And I think they kind of appeal to different players, but you can, if you're someone that enjoys like simulation hunting and then also just like, I don't want to say shooting gallery stuff because there's, you know, other other hunting games out there that are more shooting gallery style, but just in general, like trophy hunting, let's say. Anything like that. Classic's a little more appealing, I think, to the audience that wants, like, more realistic hunting simulation kind of stuff. Whereas Call of the Wild's a little, like, faster paced, more trophy animals, more rares, all that kind of thing. They're both, they're both really good games. Severe lack in latent content uh, from all the content creators. Any chance of getting back on the whitetail grind? I'm finally getting everything back to normal after the reset. The biggest reason I'm not on a whitetail grind right now, because I do actually want to get another great one, um, is that I'm waiting to see, like, absolute proof that other great one racks can spawn. Because they were sort of illegitimately revealed, shall we say, by, um some some kind of like hacky thing whatever you want to call it the pictures were posted people have seen them you know i'm sure they've been saved there's no point trying to pretend that didn't happen uh but yeah i think there's only been like two of the rack shapes taken that are definitely legitimate the one that we got here you know with a bow in june i think and there's another one who got that what's i can't think of his name he posted it in the Hunter um, official anyway. I know there are other ones, and I want just, like, proof that they can spawn before I go and end up with two of the same thing. Yeah. I wouldn't complain if that happened, but I really want to get, like, two different racks if I could get so lucky to even find another one. So we'll see. Uh, Jackson, thanks for the super chat, man. Opening day of bow in 10 days. Got a skinny but tall 11 point. That sounds awesome. Thick six point and a pack of coyotes coming in 4 to 6 p.m. Dude, that's perfect. Get in there on that. We have a, a pretty thick six point here as well. I think he may be over five. He's just a big old deer. And uh, he might be top of my list. There's been some ones that are certainly higher scoring, you know, bigger bucks. But to get like an old buck like that, that would be... Pretty cool. I don't think I've shot a deer older than four and a half. Oh. Fell two points shy of diamond. Dude, those blacktail are rough. I had the same deal, like, when they finally started making diamond again, I shot two or three trolls first. Yukon seems bugged for grizzlies. It's not so much bugged. It's that... For some reason... Grizzlies, for one, are seemingly like 75% female. And also, they're just very rare to see high levels. I don't think they're bugged. They are just, you don't see a lot of really big ones. Messed up a diamond yesterday. It was a gray mouflon. Dude, that's one of my uh, top animals on my list of diamonds I want to get. I hope you can find another one. I know, um... Mouflon diamonds in general aren't that rare, and gray mouflon are not that rare, but the combo is certainly not something you see every day. I'm a point one troll. 
Leaving under a bridge. Kind of less happening out here than I thought there would be. The wind is okay, so I figure we'll just continue going south rather than fast traveling. Because it's not the direction I usually go. But, kind of thought there'd be like, you know, a herd of springbuck. Or some kudu. Or a wildebeest. It's not a level 2 female. You know, something like that. Hit me with that 12 zeros in front of the point one. Rude. Where do you find whitetail now? I really haven't done much whitetail hunting. I still see them in a lot of the same areas though. Runaki's got them. Uh, Chila has them. I think Balmont might even have more now. Balmont Lake. Um, I do see them in Norden. You know. A lot of the same areas, just in less numbers. They, I believe, are more spread out. A good spot to hunt Warthog. One of my favorites is actually right here in the central savannah. Little lake right at the beginning. And you see them, like, down here. This lake. And I bet they drink a lot down through here. I just don't know the areas. Do you think you'll ever go back to the Hunter Primal? I really... If I can get, like... Somebody must know what you have to do <laughs> to fix it. Because when you play, your save, like... Or your save file, I guess, doesn't save, essentially. You can't... You can't save progress without doing some kind of file manipulation. I have the game. It's no longer available on Steam, but I have it. <laughs> so, like, if I can figure that out, I would play it. I like it. It's a cool game. Um, that person, thanks so much for the super chat, man. <laughs> You're way too generous, dude. Just out here, you know, running around for hunger, trying to run into some diamond, springbuck, warthog, kudu. The things we used to find so many of until the moment I wanted them for my trophy lodge. Where was that? Did he walk out of render? Am I looking in the wrong place? Both of those are reasonably likely at the ranges we're looking at. It didn't look big. There's you again. Um, but Quinlan, am I saying that close to correctly? I hope so. Thanks for the super chat as well. Been watching your channel for over six months. Love the content you create. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you sticking around so long as well. Your save's fine. Does it? I'm back to, like, zeros when I be begin or start the game, basically. <laughs> Play Carnivores. I've heard it's a good game, you know? Might have to give it a shot. I've never played... Um, Jackson, thank you again, dude. Out small game hunting last night, and I saw a piebald- What? A piebald gray squirrel? Decided to let him go hopping- Wait. Let him go hoping? Jeez. For him to make more of that fur type? I have never heard of a piebald gray squirrel. Like, where was- Where was the, uh, extra white fur? I know, like, albinos exist. We have, um, technically melanistic ones, but it's a common thing. Is Nightbot fail on us? He does that. I like the choose your hunt. I'm gonna do that again. Um, probably next spring. Like, it's gonna be a while. Because at this point in the year, like, I've got real life hunting. <laughs> Sundays, I'm spending the days watching football. Also, like, Monday nights and Thursday nights. Speaking of, Wednesday stream talk about all the games from this past week hopefully again anyway ooh, hi max weight track I like to see that uh, yeah it's just a busy time of year for me and then through winter like I may be able to do it through the winter that's actually when I was planning it last time because things get old and boring it's just gonna be a matter of like when content comes out what sort of things can happen and I'd really like to do like you know bigger and better <laughs> if you want to um, use such a phrase. I'd like to either get like multiple maps or something, but 
There were a lot of things that benefited me about the way the game worked last time I did that, compared to now. So for one, I used Zack Tactics back then, so an animal being nervous or whatever, you didn't notice that change, because there was no... You know, that info wasn't on the spotting. That is our guy right there. Let's try to get him. Nice. Uh, other things like that nervous state that I was just talking about, they used to always just return to the zone they left. So, you know, the, those choices that were shoot animal A or shoot animal B, I could shoot animal A, wait, have animal B come back, record shooting animal B, you know, like, the recording process of that would be very difficult to do again. Now there's other choices we can do, we could just go to other areas, that kind of thing, but yeah, it, it takes a lot of actual planning and stuff, and like scouting and respawns and like all this stuff. So we'll see, we'll see what kind of stuff's going on, but I'm gonna do another one. Uh, and Jackson, thank you again, dude. Wait a minute. I swear I saw it. Where'd it go? Come back. Was there another one? Oh, I see. Along his side and down his hind legs. Dude, that's actually cool. I swear I heard an alert go off. I don't know what what I heard, but I got your message anyway. Got a diamond mountain goat? I'd like to get a couple more of those for the trophy lodge. I think they're cool, man. What, uh, fur type? Been a member for 1.7 years? As in a year, seven months? You gotta be one of the top members. There's, I think, one or two that have two years. I know you've been one of the longest, uh, tenured super schusters. Been around a while. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. Let's go to Central Savannah here, because we started here, but didn't really see anything. I want a Monistic Mountain Goat so bad. Dude, I got one the day the content creator beta started for Silver Ridge Peaks. It was just a, a female. I think a two or a three. Didn't even mount it, because I'm so used to not mounting female rares, I guess I wasn't thinking. And I have not got one in the live game since. I guess that's my punishment for not taxonomizing. Got a piebald mule deer, but it had one spot yet. I really see the idea of making several piebald variations is good. They did it with pronghorn, they did it with Rocky Mountain Elk, and of course with mule deer. Um, that mule deer variation does not look that nice. I kind of understand what they were going for. Because, in real life, a lot of animals that are technically piebald just have that, like, one spot or, you know, we've had... There was actually, probably five, six years ago, we had a trail cam picture of two does that just, their back ends were, like, slightly speckled, almost like a Palomino horse. Is that what they're called? Or Pinto, not Palomino. Pinto, that's what I meant. Yikes. They're around to me that I'm... No idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, yeah, a lot of piebalds don't have, like, that full calico piebald. So I get what they're doing. It would just be nice if they look a little better. The quickest way to kill caribou? Uh... Like a 7 mil heart shot? What's my favorite animal I've shot? It's gotta be the great one just because of how much effort went into that specific animal. Like, well over 100 hours. Um, I figure something like, um, let's take this shot real quick. Because he was alarmed. I figure something like 1600 harvests and just countless hours setting up, moving things, trying to get everything to, to work out. So it has to be that. I really liked my Piebald Diamond Whitetail that was on stream. Certainly my favorite stream kill ever, but doesn't quite compare to getting the great one. 
Palomino is so different. Listen, they both start with the same letter. Tired. Is there any other excuses that I can get away with this one? I knew that... Okay, so here's the thing. We used to, in my family, I think a lot of people do it. We used to call deer that are um, piebald pintos. But I, that's not the correct term. And I was like, what's that term? It's a horse. And I immediately went to Palomino. Don't worry about it. I know what I'm talking about. All that effort to have it luckily almost run you over. You know, there's a lot of crazy things that happen when you're playing this game for, you know, 3,500 hours. Just for that setup to be as it was, like, level 3 Diamond Whitetail standing out there in a perfect position for me to see it, stop, tab out of my game, hit record, tab back in, you know, all this stuff. And then I, I start talking about, like, this level 3, like, oh, I guess this video's not done. And that's, you know, that's the time that this great one runs right in front of me. It would, like, how much different would that video have been if it was, like, end of the video and I just go, okay, I just saw it, it's over here, let's go find it. Like, for him to run in front of us, get that live reaction and everything, there just, it wasn't. There couldn't have been a better uh, outcome, in my mind. Have we seen this particular group of Springbuck before? I'm not sure we have. Let's go visit these guys. I'm going to blame me being tired on your puppy. I mean, I hear her at night, but it doesn't keep me up. <laughs> like, I'll be asleep five seconds later. There's a male anyway. Still wish these copper-colored ones could be male. I don't understand that. So many fur types on Verhunga that would look amazing as diamond, and they're female only. Okay. Um, this is going to be tough, but we'll give it a shot. What are you? Two. I want to get... that guy. And, wow, okay. Bye. <laughs> Never mind. You know, sometimes they'll sit around forever. Sometimes they'll be gone long before any chance to get a shot off. Anything good yet? Nothing too special. We had a, um... Hi. A max estimate spring buck that was about the most interesting thing on Rahunga. Definitely not a hard shot. Oh, goodness. Double lung, though, I bet. For him to be dropping at the rate he was. Just want to male crown Willoughby's? Dude, like... Every... Almost every Wildebeest is a gold. So I try to do the gold or better rares. If male Wildebeest could be crowned, I'd have every crowned Wildebeest in my lodge. Every one I ever got. They're so cool. And like, same goes for Dusky Kudu. I mean, they're not even a rare though. But if I could get a, a Diamond Dusky, that would be really neat. Double lung twice, actually. Um, what else goes in that category? Black Brown Springbuck, for sure. As we pick up a Disturbed Edge from one. I would grind so hard. I would figure out every Springbuck drink so, and like, I would do it like I did for the Great One. For a Black Brown Diamond Springbuck. They are so cool looking. I, I wanted that from the very beginning, the first Black Brown I shot. And then, you know, you find out they're only females. Like, what is the deal with that? I'll actually, um... I'll see if I can get info on it. Because I, I feel like that's not intentional. Maybe it is. I've said it in so many videos and in so many streams, and unless I've been just so unlucky to miss every comment from people saying, like, no, that's a thing, only females can be that in real life, then I gotta think there's something going on, because I would think somebody would have said that by now and I would noticed it. I'm not really grinding for an albino harlequin duck, that person. I'm more, um hoping to eventually find one in multiplayer or whatever. I don't tend to grind ducks. Mm. 
Max Diamond Turkey KG? That's pretty awesome, man. I'm over here with my 4.79, not quite good enough, big male. Can you show us your biggest IRL deer ever? Actually, I don't think I got to say this since it happened. Um, we scored my buck from last year. It is, I think, 7 eighths of an inch or 3 quarters of an inch bigger than my previous 9 points. So, um, if you want to go watch my video from last year, I shot my biggest buck on film. It's not the best footage. I had to use a scope cam and it's 100 yards away. But, um, we had him on camera for a moment and then there's, of course, the recovery. That whole day was weird. I wanted to, like, film going up and recovering him, but I didn't even know what happened, for one, because, like, I'm making what I think are perfect shots and he's just chilling. Uh, then my dad was going to hunt there. I wanted to be quiet because that spot's been good. So after I got my buck, my dad was going to spend the rest of the day there. So we didn't film any of the actual recovery. Going to do better on that kind of stuff this year. You do get black, brown, male spring buck. Um, if you have a screenshot of one, I'd like to see it. I've never seen one posted. What's going on, Aiden? What do we got here? Gim's book. Not what I'm looking for. I think Warthog drink here. That's kind of why I wanted to check this little spot. And then I think we're going to change the time back. It's basically 8 o'clock. We'll probably go back to 8 and... A couple of beiges. Um, go back to 8 and check some other spots. Early morning on Verhunga. Always a good good time to be hunting. Lots of stuff's out. Lions are feeding. Gemsbuck, Warthog. Um, they're drinking. Springbuck, Kudu are feeding. Like Everything's kind of out and active in the morning. Real quick, let's check this spot. Should make more IRL hunting videos. Um, I definitely intend to. I'm thinking there's going to be more total IRL hunting videos this year than last year. We'll have to see how everything goes. But, um, as is, that actually should be the case. That was a weird zoom thing that just happened. Smoke, there's a lion chilling here. Who and what are you? And where? Final follow-up question. I meant you do- oh, in real life, sorry. Okay. If you definitely do in real life, then I am going to mention something somewhere and see what the deal is. At least to understand why. Because if that's a thing in real life, why it would only be females in game, I don't understand. And Kyla just actually posted the Meat Hunters um, YouTube channel again. If you didn't hear me saying it earlier, TK and I are going to be doing a little podcast over on that channel on Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Kind of talking about all of our equipment and everything for the upcoming season. Uh. And also, that's just the channel where my real life hunting content gets posted first. So if you want to see that stuff as soon as it comes out, um, be sure to be subscribed to that channel so you can get those notifications. Two super chats, I don't know what order they came in. Just read them in the order that they're in the chat for me. Snakehead, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> if they make, let's say, a great one. Red Deer, do you think any of the maps could have one or they'll put them on just one that have them? I think any maps could have them. It seems to be simply, like, if I were to guess from a programming standpoint, that is probably, for Whitetail, a diamond whitetail, and then some incredibly rare possibility. I've talked about animal IDs on streams before, and I don't know if that's the way the game works. It's a complete guess. Um, those sorts of things have been described to me as the way a lot of these types of games would work. So, it might be an animal ID that's randomized, and it has to be a diamond that also has some specific string of numbers in the ID. And then that becomes the great one. So I don't think it's like a... It wouldn't be tied to a map. It would be more... Um, you know... Tied to... Just random spawning. And then... Uh, somebody in here with the super chat. We got that person somebody in here. I like it. Uh, what did that say? I wish they would add the same fur variations on... 
Fox and Call of the Wild is classic. Yeah, like Cross Fox and classic are some of my favorite, and Grays as well. Like, I don't know why we don't have those. It's a very good point. And Silvertip, actually. We're missing out on some cool stuff. That's a really good point, dude. And uh, Tanner, thanks for the super chat. First day of college. Um, are you currently towards the end of your first day of college? Just trying to figure out based on timing. Hope that's going or has gone well. Let's get the time changed here. Got a leucistic mallard. Dude, they're my favorite. They're my favorite mallard variant. I wish they'd do albino for them, though. You almost have to wonder if that's a thing and they weren't spawning properly. Because that was kind of the case with male albino harlequins. That was the case with albino grizzly bear in general. Like, there's been those things. So. Makes me wonder a little bit. Uh, we're gonna try... You know what? Let's just go... Where did I kill that? It's like... Here. But on... Oh, they're gonna be drinking, though. Okay. Let's just go here. See what's going on for Warthog up along this coast, because that almost has to be where they drink. The one... Uh, well, I guess we just got a second Diamond Warthog recently. The one Warthog I had in the lodge for the longest time there, that red-brown, I believe it was shot, like, roughly at this feed zone in multiplayer. And I, like, never go here in single player, so let's just kind of run around and see what's going on. Head hurts from reading chat. It, uh... It goes that way sometimes. Do I think Call of the Wild should be on mobile? There's just... There's no mobile device that could handle Call of the Wild's graphics and stuff. Like, Xbox One on Verhunga, like, this stuff right here that I'm in, you start getting really low FPS. Like, the amount they'd have to take out of the game to make it run would be insane. Same scarecrow, like albino teal as well. I want a bunch of albino duckies. Albino black bear would be nice. They exist. Like, somebody killed one in PA here five, six years ago. Why they're not in the game, I have no idea. I bet they could almost get classic on mobile. They could do it. I bet on the Switch. I think the Switch has solid enough hardware to run classic. So we'll run down to that point. If we don't see any Warthog or hear any, I want to go probably like to this lodge and just down through here. I don't know what the heck's down there, but we'll find out. Have you ever gotten a Melanistic Wolf on Yukon? I actually got one uh, three weeks ago. There's one in a... Uh, Sunday highlights video from recently. This week we didn't do a Sunday highlight. Last week was the red brown diamond, I believe. So it would have been, I guess, only two weeks ago. Why wow, we don't have true spear bears again, man? Like, there's stuff that they definitely could add, and it almost makes sense. Like, if they started adding stuff like that, like they did it intentionally to have new content, but I don't think they did. My brother has gotten four troll legendary red deer. Is Hunter Man still in here? He had like 30. This kid was just out here shooting troll red deer every day. I, I feel that, man. Don't run that far. Come on, you run two miles an hour. I've never seen one go that far. I must always start trotting sooner than that. That was weird. But I am quite happy to see this is, in fact, where they drink. That is information that I probably should have known, but I wasn't sure. One of Melanistic Lynx or Albino? Yeah, I gotta get back on that grind as well. Um, haven't done that really... Oh, hi. Scrub hair drink zone. I haven't done that really since... I got the diamond links. I've done like two runs, three runs since then. That's about it. 
it's sad. I really want to get that done. I have like this whole thing where I don't want to kill a rare Lynx and not realize it without it being on video. But I also don't want to just do a video of my current Lynx uh, grind because I feel like there's just not going to be anything. And it's this weird combo of do I just go do a video? Do I just go grind them? I don't know. Whale well, he did. Yeah, whale. Well. Nice to have the 7 mil for such things. Is classic a PC exclusive game? It is. Um, the game was designed, obviously, for PC and not with any intentions of it being on other platforms. Like, you just look at the different things. Like, compared to Call of the Wild, like, I have my items out, mouse scroll wheel does stuff, and that goes, that translates perfectly into changing items with the, uh, like, the D-pad on a controller. Like, all those sort of things were thought of for Call of the Wild that just weren't for a classic. I don't miss. As long as you weren't here to see the water buffalo earlier, I don't. I think I missed something else, too. Black Buck or something. Warthog and Relay for crazy fast. Yeah, they got... They have reflexes that could probably be compared to, like, a cat. They actually are insane. And they're way bigger than they are in this game. It upsets me. They reach, like, 300 and... What would that be? 320 pounds? 360 pounds? What's 150 times 2? And then another fifth of that would be 30. 330 pounds. And they're, like, four times bigger than the rabbits. Makes me sad. They should be way bigger. If an animal dies, will it respawn the same if you leave the map? Because I had a legendary black bear die and my power went out. Never found it again and I've looked everywhere. So here's the thing. The game absolutely worked that way, um, say, several years ago. Then there was a point where if the animal died, it was that was it. It didn't matter if you claimed it or not, you would get a respawn. And then it went back to the other way, and I actually don't even know how it works right now. There's been those sorts of changes. Uh... It might be out there. I hope it is for you. I just actually don't know which state of the game we're in as far as that stuff. This little spot seems like a good one. That guy has no idea a shot just went off. That guy is also kind of smoked. Almost got yeeted by water buffalo. Yeah, I got a, a real good saw tug from one. How's it going today? Pretty good, man. It's actually... Some streams just, just seem to, like, drag on forever. When I'm doing certain things, missions never really do. But sometimes when I'm doing diamond hunts, like... It's been an hour 40, and, like... It's felt like 20 minutes. Like, this has just been a super chill one. I've enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's been a good time. We haven't killed anything all that special, but I like doing stuff that's different. I like when I'm not doing the same old thing. Like, it's just insanity, technically. <laughs> same thing over and over, expecting a different result. It's just good to be doing something that's not the same. Not that you missed me, but I'm back. I like that. Um, anything good? Nothing super special. Just kind of finding some... Do little warthog zones in these areas. I like to see it. I've killed so many diamond warthogs off my own map. The fact that I haven't gotten one off my own map in the better part of a year, probably, kind of makes me sad, but I don't hunt this map like I used to. I guess I did when I was looking for Cape Buffalo, but that was also different because um, I'm not really hunting areas where I see a lot of warthogs at the time. How many hours do you have right now, Hunter? Uh, 3,462. Just looked. Approximately way too many. Where else are we going to find Warthogs? I guess I do want to get down to this area. Or is it... Uh, which way is the wind going? 
Northwest. Yeah, we're gonna be best off going here. If it would. Can we? Thank you. Which gun am I using? Uh, 7 mil for pretty much everything today. Seems if they die, they're gone. Had that with the diamond pronghorn when the power went out. Have not seen it since. Uh. Yeah, I haven't really done... I haven't tested it. If the hunting pressure stays on the map, it should mean they're gone. That... I don't even know if that does that right now. I know it did for a while. Um... But yeah, I haven't played around with that at all. Nobody feeding on this little plateau looking thing. Not so much. Uh, Snakehead, thanks for the super chat again, man. If you ever go on a real life hunt in Africa, what animals would you like to get? Hmm. Greater Cootie would be top of my list. Impala up there as well. I think I'd like to get a Warthog. And... For some reason, I feel the need to choose four. I think a wildebeest would actually be pretty neat. I think that's the uh, the official four top four. When do animals actually respawn? Nobody really knows. Um, you know the official answer to that. I'm sure the devs probably do. That's a drink stone I don't know that I've had. Let's kind of check and see who's drinking down in that area. Um, it seems respawns can be rather immediate, but I think they often spawn far from the location that they're going to end up in. So, like, let's say we shot one of these Gemsbug. The respawn might happen immediately, but it might be, like, way up here. And it takes them a long time to walk down here. So that's, that's why when I did the Whitetail grind, I would basically do my run, you know, shoot 20 whitetail, and reset the game, because that game reset seems to just place them in their proper place. Got a Black Panther yesterday, level 7. It's pretty cool, man. I think that... Or no, I had a 7 and an 8, actually, for the Mona 6, but that's cool, dude. I like them. There it is. Biggest male... I've ever seen. I'm so tempted to shoot the females, but I actually should be shooting a male, because I want a male diamond one of these days. No fours, so we'll get the dark one. It's going to be slightly frustrating to get a decent shot in there, because we're using the 7 mil. Just got to time it, right? Tried the whole healing while base jumping thing yesterday like 10 times and only died 8, so that's an improvement. Take some practice. I was doing it on Hirschfeld on one of those huge mountains, and that's the thing that kept happening to me. I would slide, and when you slide, things start to get a little dangerous because it's very easy to take damage when you're not ready for it, and then you just die. Because when you fall that far, your health drops faster. You get less and less time. Got a diamond melanistic puma? I've seen a good number of like albino and melanistic diamond pumas and mountain lions posted lately. Hopefully it was a good scoring one, man. This is gonna be our scrub hair zone. That's the male. Gims boys. Would like to get the weight on this female. The chances that it left the track are not good. Can figure out the for a type anyway. One time I shot a diamond albino black tail my game crashed. Oh. That is massively unfortunate, dude. When you say reset the game, oh sorry, um I just mean like I would exit the desktop and then open the game and just continue. I'm not restarting everything, just you know. Close the game, relaunch. Do you think you have better aim in game or in real life? I don't think they really can compare because in game there are 
good reasons to rush shots where in real life there really never is. I mean, I guess there are. But, um... Rushing a shot in real life often doesn't lead to the result you want. I think a big part of aiming in real life that makes these two uncomparable is the fact that you have to be comfortable shooting guns and comfortable with the gun you're taking a shot with and be able to not flinch because that causes some major issues and I feel like pretentious when I talk about this but like generally speaking I am a pretty good shot in real life and it's kind of like it's almost this other state of mind when I'm taking a shot at a deer like this crazy primal instinct I guess just hyper focused to a level that I can't focus on other things generally and uh, as long as I get into that place I usually do make the shot I'm trying to make every now and then I've taken a shot and I've just been like yeah that wasn't that wasn't it I wasn't in that focus place and I let something something happen that threw the shot off kind of far. Would take a shot at that, but I don't feel like climbing back up there. Got a 154.1 diamond brown cape buffalo? Dude. Jealous of that. Wish I'd have gotten one a long time ago. I think mine was 154 as well, though. A lot of people don't realize how hard tracking a wounded animal is and how gut-wrenching it is to lose one. Yeah, because the general perception, probably not the general perception, but the perception that maybe tends to have the loudest um, people is that you don't care about the animals or whatever. Like, that's the last thing you ever want to do is shoot an animal and then lose it for plenty of reasons. Hopefully I shoot the deer in the right place this year. That's why you're gonna practice. Gray scrub hair. I like their um, gray fur type. Alright, can we see anything now that we're into the open? can hear things. I was sort of hoping those scrub hair might be somehow visible. Not really the result I was hoping for. Your small male. Alright, we only got about 10 minutes, so let's try some of these other spots real quick. Let's go here. Thinking all the deer are coming for it. Yeah, well, you know, I've heard people think that about squirrels, so it could be. Got my first bow kill Friday at 15 yards. That's going to be one you're never going to forget, dude. Still remember, mine was just a doe. I don't know what uh, what you had. But still remember the entire thing. It was a Friday. The uh, local high school football, it's not a stadium. What do you even call that? High school football field, I guess. Um is close enough down the hill that I can hear the band playing and it was before a game and I was like sitting there just like listening to the band and everything and I heard a couple of like little crunches and I guess I wasn't an experienced enough hunter at the time to really consider the fact that those came from the same place there's probably something happening so they kind of caught me off guard walked up into the field and I got like a good 20 yard shot just smoked her same stand I got my uh bow buck out of the only buck I've shot with a bow. Their animation's so cool. They hate me. They didn't hate you. They didn't know anything. They thought more food for the rest of them. That was all. Squirrels wouldn't hate you for that. Did you miss anything? Nothing super special. 
We've been just kind of running around some areas that I don't tend to hit as often. No way, Billy. Same. The fact that Albino and Melanus at Gemsbuck, they may not exist <laughs> in real life, but the fact that they're not a thing, how cool would it be to see an Albino Gemsbuck? The gold ones look really cool. Like an Albino, I'd love it. Um, Snickhead, thanks again, man. Last one. Really appreciate you, dude. Which wildebeest, black or blue? You'd guess blue? Yet, yeah, I black wildebeests are cool. They're very unique, but I think I prefer blue wildebeest. I wouldn't be too picky. If I had the opportunity for for either, I'd definitely go for it. Not seeing heavy tracks here, so that is a big set on the Warthog, but we'll get our Gemsbuck and take a little hop somewhere else. So you shoot the deer, the deer and the coyotes gonna come after you. All you gotta do is be able to outrun me. Silver Ridge Peaks is the best reserve. It may very well be if you really consider everything about it. It's a pretty dang good one. Alright. Uh, where... It's going to be those ones that we had tracks from. Springbuck interests me, though. Who or what said that? I see ya. Small female. Nope. Not really something I need for respawns, but I wanted to get it. Alright then. It's kind of rude, but that's okay. Let's go up here, actually. Is that right, bottom boy? Understandable. First bow kill of mine was a turkey at 47 yards. Dude, that's a long way for your first bow kill. I'm sure that's a pretty memorable one. Alright, let's smoke that filler there. Let's reload the gun. Now let's smoke that filler there. What animals do you want to see in Call of the Wild? I really think, like, a there's another three. Oh, there's more of them, too. Hold on. Another three. I really think a North American desert map would be a big favorite. A lot because of Verhunga's popularity. Now, that may be very much due to the animals that are on this map. But I think a big reason Verhunga's so popular is it is kind of like that desert. I mean, obviously, savannah is the proper term. I should just use that. Um, it's open. You can see. You can spot a lot of animals in a short period of time. You can see a lot of stuff. I think that sort of thing, North American desert, could be popular. And then, like, coos deer, desert mule deer, desert bighorn. Um, I would really like bighorn to take a... Uh, or to get a second look if they were to do that. But they could do, like, coyotes and jackrabbits. Javelina would be a new one. Like, lots of stuff they could do. Is this a male or female piggy? Because I didn't see this one. What about me driving? You're driving my truck. I won't. Let you leave till you do. Never get a Simon Simone. I'm not sure how to say that. I'm sure you meant Diamond. Gotta keep after it, man. Where would you say is the best spot for Gimsbuck? Uh, they changed that one feed zone recently, so it's not so absolutely loaded with like 40 of them. I would probably say it's the lake here in Central Savannah. There's a ton there. And then maybe down here at these two lakes would be my second best. There used to be a feed zone. Um, would have been about here. But it doesn't have like six, seven different herds of Gemsbuck at it anymore. 
Lots to drink up here, I see, still. I wasn't really sure about that. It's a good four. We may attempt to give one of those the smoke if this warthog's not interesting. Is the multiplayer glitch still a thing where your zones disappear or get deleted? Yeah, the zones... I think it's just like the icon on your map disappearing. The zones themselves are still there. But to my knowledge, that does in fact still happen. Bring in the dogs. Do you think I'm afraid of them? I need to not do that, Hunter Man. That would be silly. What I need to do is put some new rotors and get a new tire on my truck because the uh, passenger side front tire every now and then is like, hey, remember me? I have a tiny leak. And then it like loses air and then stops doing that. Now you're probably thinking I should just get that fixed. But I don't feel like um, driving to Wyoming on a patch tire. So, probably gonna get a new one. Just killed an albino water buffalo golden eyes. I'd like to get um, another one or two of those in the lodge, I think. They're pretty cool. Get you as well. And you for sure. Slightly bigger male. Click clack of the keyboard, jump spot, jump spot, yeah. It, uh, it tends to be effective. I think, I'm not sure how big of a factor that really plays, but I think that's actually a pretty major thing that maybe improves gameplay. Taking those jumps and, like, being able to see over obstacles and... The biggest thing, I think, is just moving your point of view to allow you to spot certain things. Because, like, sometimes you can't spot through brush, but you jump up and can get the spot off and just see what the animal is. Not leaving if I have to drive your truck. Okay. Get that fixed. We don't do that here. If it was just for staying around here, I'd get a fix, but with... You know, a couple of weeks at most till I leave for Wyoming. It's not the time to be having a fl I already dealt with a flat in Wyoming. I don't need to do it again. You know what I'm saying? Spooking the entire herd of them. I really don't want extra hunting pressure. I think we killed three animals in this area already, so we better chill. Hey, Silver. Late, last-minute silver session. Out here mining for silver. If you had the chance on a bighorn sheep, would you take it? Uh, yeah. I think I would. Would have to be, you know... More than just, like, a random chance. It would have to be, you know, properly planned. But yeah, I think I'd like to do that. Um, East Ohio Fishing, thanks for the super chat, man. I downloaded a spin the wheel app that I had the maps, animals, and weapons on each wheel. It keeps things interesting if you're playing a lot. Yeah, people have mentioned doing that recently. I had like a randomizer program I made for the game. Not for the game. Um, but I made for Classic, essentially, a long time ago. And I do always enjoy random stuff, but it would always give me like the worst, like, Settler Creeks, rabbits with like the uh I actually like the 16 gauge side by side but some kind of not even that great shotgun I'm like why can't you give me something good so I just stopped using that <laughs> it's it's great let's I uh, suppose get a little boy respawn here there was a nice four is it you mr. one that I can't spot no you. Hit him with that no you without even trying. Just got an albino turkey. They look cool, huh? I really do like them. Nervous Gims boys out here. We'll leave them alone. Could actually get that one, though. That one's 
Still chilling and not gonna be a factor on our hunting pressure, really. Probably asking for trouble, but... Yeah, attempted next shot. Got a lung somehow. It'll work. So far, I lodge is way better. That's something else I hope they do soon. Like a North American themed like log cabin trophy lodge. If it was at least like the same size or bigger than Saseka Safari, I would take everything that I have in that lodge and bring it to the new one because I really would like that. Do you have beavers destroy tents? Every now and then. It's all that is is uh, the game not able to spawn it because it's not level enough or whatever like the terrain's not working like whatever changed I don't like however the game loaded something it gets messed up that's all that is don't know what I'm doing running between two hunting pressures if you had to use one gun forever in the game what would it be I mean I guess the uh, drilling rifle, the 9.3, because I can take every animal in the game with it, even if it may be ineffective at certain things, but I'd be able to still get, you know, every possible diamond if I put in enough work. You like leucistic better? Those gray tail feathers are cool. I do like those quite a lot as well. Uh, but, I believe this is gonna be our last harvest. Little lung spinal cord shot little beast. But yeah, I was good to run around for hunger. We got tons of warthog, couple of spring buck, a decent amount of kudu, gims buck line, you know, all the respawns, so hopefully we can get some good stuff out of that someday as the thunder rolls in here with the wildebeest running along. But, uh, yeah. As always, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for making it a good stream. Thanks for the support. You guys are the best. And, uh, as I said, Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern over on the Meat Hunters YouTube channel, TK and I are going to do, like, a little podcast um, talking about our um, setups and everything. A video podcast, by the way. It'll be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, getting things synced up and stuff from across the pond. But yeah, it should be good. So uh, be sure to check that out. And uh, thanks again for watching. I'll hopefully see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!